Clyde on Clyde on set. Cl Clyde on set. What are you freaking doing? Clyde on set. Clyde on set. <laughs> Clyde's on the set. Yo, get off, bro. What's going on, everybody? I want to get off. Scully, I want to get off together. Are you, is that your Joker impression? No, that's my Dennis Reynolds impression. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back to episode number 10 of the OSI podcast. All right. Well, that's great. That, that cool, battery man. died immediately. Is, is there something <laughs> up with that secondary battery? It's. I know that it said full battery. I checked. I literally checked and I was like, oh, it's still full battery. Sick. And then, well, obviously one minute in, it's The dying. video listeners will get that gag. The audio the listeners, audio listeners are going to be like... Wait, what? <laughs> hey, what? What happened? They Nothing? said client on set, and then they go, they said, well, they, there was a client on the set, and then all of a sudden they had to cut. Guys, I know it looks like I'm wearing the same shirt as last week, but I'm not, okay? This is a Star Wars shirt. What, what shirt were you wearing last, last week? Last week I was wearing Los Boyos Hermanos. Oh, but it was the same color, though? Same color. Same colorway. Yeah, so today is actually a I'm beautiful Wednesday. Again. Well, I sh can't say beautiful because it's been stinking freaking hot this whole time. No, today w was better. Wasn't as humid. Mm, better. I was able to have the windows open Maybe it's just because, like, since I've been home. We just went to the gym. We just got back from the gym. Hit We're legs. Down. Went down on me, and we hit whoa, legs. Whoa, whoa. What? What did you say? We hit, we hit legs, and then that was it. And then you said, whoa, and you I said, said, go what? down on me. No. Please? You're Come on, kidding. man. You're not getting a phone call. <laughs> Who is it? It's Mackenzie's dinner. Oh. Man, but also the guy who uh, I buzzed up just heard you go, man, you're not getting a phone call right now. Man, that guy can sorry, man. Me. Hey, man, if why you're is he getting buzzed up to your house? Sorry, man. Walk down and get it. I never buzz him up. Work smarter, not harder, dummy. Yeah, if buzz you... him in. No, why not? I have to tip him. <laughs> that's your rule. If you get him to buzz in, that's the that's the. I think threshold. it's outrageous that I was thinking about this the other day, like. I always feel bad when I order Uber Eats and I don't tip off the front, like off the start. Which is no, I would ask. never, I never ever, like, ever tip off the front. I've like, had times where my food shows up and it's upside down. But that's that's what I was saying. I was like, man, these Uber drivers probably think I'm a dick because I don't. They don't get notified until, or they they don't see if you've tipped them or not until oh, after the thing is closed. I don't oh, think. I always because assume that they can't. Well, if they if they see that you haven't tipped them. That's not good because then they then they would get yeah, pissed. Exactly. So I don't think you. Okay, it makes sense. I don't think. But you, that because that's what I was thinking. I was always like, man, these guys probably think I'm a dick because I'm not tipping. But I'm like, I don't tip my waiter before. You know, right. No, I don't tip my waiter. Oh my god. No, I don't tip my waiter before. No. The food comes even, like as I'm ordering. No. Foot cramp. Foot toe cramp. Uh. Toe cramp. Foot cramp. Foot cramp. Foot cramp. So yeah, it's on a Wednesday today because We're I'm recording going early. Away. Ethan's going away. Ethan's going away Tell on us a about business it. trip. Are you going away? Going to a cottage. And so we don't have too much to talk about. Nothing's really going on in Stranger Things in fans. The world still of, brutal. Still brutal. Uh, we, there's not too much going on in the world of pop culture, really. No, no crazy new movies coming out. There's a new Star Wars show that's coming out, but that's not coming out until... Uh, September. Mm -hmm. So she Hulk no, comes out there. in a couple weeks. She Hulk comes out, and that's a couple. Oh no, of it weeks. comes out next week. Are you gonna watch it? Yeah, I won't be. It's fine. And we're not. Tell us about why. Tell us the about exact why. reason. Okay, uh, CGI. What also, does it stand for? Client. Client generated in, in intercom, inter intercom. Client generated invoices. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it, it stands for. Do you what? What, what does it actually stand for? Uh, computer computer generated uh, emojis. <laughs> emojis. Computer generated <coughs> emojis. So instead, computer generated to, something. Computer so, generated eye. So because CGI. My turn off the oh, ringer. Computer generated imaging easily. Probably. Did I figure it out? Oh my god, I think god, you invented it. Solved. I think you invented it. Um wait, yeah, so yeah, so you're, we're done with the podcast. So we're done with the podcast. It's just we're just going to hop on quick, tell you guys that there's nothing to talk about <laughs> and then see ya. But instead, we're going to We're going to play a black screen for the remaining 50 mm -hmm. minutes so that we can monetize, run mid-roll ads. Monetize it. Don't have 4,000 plus watched hours. 
per month or just in total? I don't know. To be honest, I think total because I did and then I privated a bunch of videos and then those went away. It's got to be in I total. Republi- when I republicized them, it didn't give me my watch hours back. It's got to be in total because Cow yeah. Chop, I've recently re- been rewatching a lot of their videos and their channel died two years ago. So there's no way they get 4,000 watch hours per month. Yeah, that'd be a bit ridiculous. Channel, and they're still, I'm still getting ads run, run on those, yeah. on some of those videos. Yeah, so. that would be a bit ridiculous, but it doesn't even matter because I wouldn't be getting money really from this anyways, so I'm not too concerned. And I would be demanding you for half. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So I'm not too concerned, but it'll come back. It just, just have my videos on repeat. Did you see that Keemstar wants uh, Rice Gum to come back to YouTube? And did you see Rice Gum no. posted some photo on his Instagram of him groping some girl and being like, I'm coming back, guys? Keemstar was like, let's go, baby. That's my Keemstar impression. We should impression. be more focused on he was, that he's going, than he's going, banning Andrew Let's Tate. get right into the knees. I think that, no, that's a hot take. Dude, what if we had Keemstar on the podcast and I just told him to eat my ass? Um, I think that people should be more concerned with getting Keemstar off the internet than Andrew Tate. And you that's know a what? hot take. No, you know what? I that is a hot take because Keemstar isn't a criminal, but Well, we don't know that. I guess we don't know that. He does like dating Wouldn't 18 surprised. year olds, but so does Andrew Tate. Or, boss. Young, or younger. Pretty chill. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if that's been an accusation. Allegedly. Oh, allegedly, of course. Except for Andrew Tate, who actually was human trafficking. But other than that, mm-hmm. um, but in Keemstar Croatia. is the worst person ever. Period, guys. Yeah, I think I would definitely rather uh, have Andrew Tate MC my wedding than Keemstar. I'd rather have neither. Well, of course. <laughs> well, I kind of want Andrew Tate. It. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't uh, <laughs> oh, no, everyone's pissed at me. I don't They're even want to say... Video. Uh, one or the other, because I would feel dirty saying one or the other. Mm. So that's a hypothetical mm. that I refuse to take part in. Mm. Um, fair enough. Fair enough. I think both of them shouldn't be allowed to have platforms. Yeah, I agree with that. Fucking Keemstar, bro. But Keemstar is the worst. I think people. Keemstar just like, has just been the. He Keemstar has been the worst for longer. Forever. For longer than Andrew. Yeah. Andrew Tate is just kind of like. They're different kinds. They're different kinds yeah, of worse. That's yeah. why they're they're not really comparable because like Keemstar is like ruins people's lives and is just the worst human being on the planet. Andrew Tate is a criminal and um, he's hates kinda, women. Yeah. Well, he so said, he's also really. He, I'm uh, not gonna. I'm not defending Andrew Tate by any means. Mm. From but let I, me just defend from what him. he let said. He doesn't hate women. He doesn't think he they're just like thinks lesser. they're his property. He do, yeah. He doesn't think so. They're they are lesser. lesser. He just like thinks. That According to him, women are here for one thing and men are here for another. Dude, is the camera? That's dude, not what we is want the here. camera crooked? Shouldn't be. Oh my god! Also, I just did the one thing that you hate. I did that on purpose. No, it shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you just gave him the Dre Drexler crotch oh, shot. Oh <laughs> no, dude! Yeah. So, so moving discipline, on. passion. So moving on. Um, moving on, guys. Um, that's the end. Yeah. So we're gonna be. Yeah, Ethan's going away on Friday, so we're recording this one a little bit earlier. Um, so what we wanted to do was talk out over the mic. No more jokes, man. Okay. Okay. Serious podcast only. So we will be doing a little new segment about... Um, Can we call it a segment because it's never going to happen again? Or no, actually, I guess we could. Oh, you don't know what the word segment means easily. Well, I, I like, I think of, when I think of segment, I think of it's going to be recurring. Mm. But it could be not the definition of segment. Could be recurring. Couldn't be. So Where we do lists. Couldn't be. So we're gonna be running list through. opinions. Opinion lists. Couldn't be. So I'm trying to think of a name for it. Couldn't be. So we're, we're gonna be running through game of the years, and we actually got this from a TikTok, a brutal TikTok, oh, a brutal. really stupid one. But we're gonna be running through the game of the year of every year because it only started in 2014, and we're gonna be. Well, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to guess. Yeah, I'm going to name the nominees for the year. What I th- And then we're going to say what I think is the game of the year. And then from there, we're going to say what should have been in <laughs> our opinion and then kind of go into a deep dive. And we'll just see where it goes from there. 
Yeah, and then we're gonna do even realer it's fake really pod racer all names that we have planned for this podcast. So more or less, hopefully it gives us an hour and two, an hour or two of content. This is a three-hour podcast. Yeah, we're actually changing the the business model to a three-hour podcast. So let's get right into it. Well, do you have Coke and Pepsi? I still no. want to do that challenge on the podcast. Oh, we're doing that on the podcast. Well, uh, you will be providing the Coke and Pepsi is the thing. You want to do it with only just regular Coke and regular Pepsi, or you want to do all six? I could do all six. Okay. Like, I'm not saying I could do Bigger all six. Bigger margin for error, but... I'm not saying I could do all six, but I'm saying, like, I'll do all six. Okay. I guarantee you I can do Pepsi and Coke. Guaranteed. That's Easy. Fine. That's Easy. fine. <laughs> That's fine. I want to see your, the color drain from your face when you take a sip of them, and you're like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit. Uh, this one's Sprite. Uh, this one's Fanta. Oh, no. I was like, I was, Is this Fanta Cola? I was watching this TikTok where it was like these, it, there was zero context. The video just started with, there were like three guys and they were on some dock and then two old boomer men come up and are like yelling at them. The Muhammad Ali. Guy. Yeah. And one of them is like, you know what? I used to train. I used to be Muhammad Ali trainer. And he's like, Muhammad. Yeah. Ali and the guy's like, yeah, he's like, mm. <laughs> my favorite, no, my favorite part of that <laughs> video is when he goes, Muhammad, and the guy doesn't really react. He goes, Ali, you know it, <laughs> just the way he goes, Ali, <laughs> you can't believe it, Muhammad, <laughs> Ali, <laughs> no, don't say it ain't so. <laughs> All right, so, so jokes. pull up the list on your phone. We're gonna go through these. <clears throat> also. <clears throat> Um, excuse me. Okay. Thought you were going to say something insightful for once. No. Hey! Shit. I saw, oh, all, I the, it I saw in. all the answers. Okay, so oh, guys. Okay. So let's get into this. And guys, we're going to debate. Not a, if you're not a gamer, this is going to be a brutal segment for you, but this is our shared interest. This isn't yeah. your shared interests. I don't care about yeah, you. I don't give a shit about you. Anyways. Go listen to... Go listen to last week's podcast. Go, go. It needs the views. <laughs> go listen to any other podcast of ours and then come back. Go listen to any of other podcasts for that matter. All right. So 2014. Okay, so 2014. Tell me what games. Um, tell me all the games that came out in that year and then I'll guess which one. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let me just name it. impossible. No, yeah. don't tell me every game that came out that year. Tell me just the nominees. Let me lay a list. Every single game that's come out since 2012. No. I'm going <laughs> to... And then we're gonna go through it, and okay. we're gonna say, but I'm not gonna tell you which year any of the games were in. And then you I bet I'd tell me get which it. game was ever. I year, bet I still came out which year. I already know the game of the year for 2016. So, <clears throat> do you? And I know the game for 2014. I guarantee you, I know it. Okay, give me the options. Go. 2014. Go. The year. The year of, iTunes was invented. <laughs> the year iTunes hit the, um, hit, the, hit the shelves. Hit the shelves. And Steve Apple. Or Tim Apple. Oh, no. He Tim died Apple. long ago. Let's forget about him. <laughs> Let's forget everything he did. <laughs> yeah, forget that guy. All right, man. All right. 2014. 2014. Bayonetta 2. Didn't win. Be faster with the listings, dumbass. <laughs> well, I'm trying to drag it out for 55 no. minutes. No. Come on, Ben. We only got eight minutes left. No. Dragon Age Inquisition. Okay. Next. Dark Souls 2. Next. Hearthstone. Next. And finally, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Um, okay. It's between uh it's between Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of what? Mordor. Shadow of Mordor. And uh wait, what was that other one? What was the Dragon Age one? Dragon Age Inquisition. No, what was the one after that? Bayonetta two. No Hearthstone and Dark Souls two. Okay, it's between Dark Souls 2 and Mord Shadow Mordor. Shadow of what? Uh, Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> I'm going to say Shadow of Mordor. It was not Shadow no! of Mordor. Because I could have sworn there was a Game of the Year edition that came out for that. But Game was, of the Year edition doesn't mean they won Game of the Year. It doesn't? Was it just means like they so. were nominated? Probably, actually, it might. That might be what it means. Okay. That's, that's likely what it means. Or I could just be But mistaken. wasn't there a Game of the Year edition for Batman Arkham Asylum? And that's that what I thought the answer fucking, was going to be. That game fucking came out in like 2008, no? Yeah, I guess. That's what I thought it was going to be. No, Dragon Age Inquisition was the Game of the oh, Year. Oh, no. By oh, developers, no. By developers Bioware. Okay. So, publisher Electronic Arts. No, dude. So, if we're going to go off what I think should have won, 
I well, didn't play thing. Dragon Age. I don't know anything about that game. I don't know anything so either. The so the only game on this list that I played was Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, so I would have just given it to that. I would have said that or Dragon Souls 2 because I know a lot of people like that game. The fact that Hearthstone was nominated for Game of the Year just goes a good game. out to tell you that 2014 was a Hearthstone, weak I bet you don't even know what, what game, what, what lore that's in, what, what universe that's in. Tell me. Tell me and I'll give you 10 League. bucks. League. No. Wow. Yeah. I should have said wow because it's by Blizzard. But yeah. is league league's not by Blizzard. League's by like League is uh, Mahoyo or something, right? League is It's by the same people who make uh Mobile Legends Bang Bang, right? Well Mobile Legends is League of Legends. It's like League. It is League <laughs> for the mobile. <laughs> I don't know. Bang, bang? Is it not Blizzard? I don't think League is Blizzard. No, it's uh it's it's a big one though. It's a big name. It's 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 man, who is it? I don't know. I'm asking you easily. Man, I think it's Blizzard. No, it's not Blizzard. It's it is. Are you kidding? Riot Games. That's what ah, it is. Riot Games. Same people who made uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> Same people who made uh, all right Valorant. So you're wrong. You got one for one. So I'm zero for one, not one for one. I said zero for one. Oh. 2015 was a big one. Okay. A lot of big hitters in 2015. Okay. Let's hear it. Bloodborne. Okay. Fallout 4, The Ooh. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Ooh. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Okay, and Super Mario Maker. So it, for me, it's between Witcher and um, uh, what was the one right before Witcher? Fallout 4. Fallout 4. I, oh, no, but Fallout 3 was the, was Fallout 3 the really good one? Fallout 3 was the, really, the one that a lot of people really liked. Okay. I don't think Fallout 4 had any issues. Fallout 76 was... What well, Bethesda's end? No, I think Fallout Four. <clears throat> um, oh my God, he's looking at the answers. Oh, it's pissing me off. Um, you ever hate when like you're about to do something at work and then someone just does it for you and you're like, "Please let me do it." No. Okay. Well, anyways, well, it depends on what it is. Well, if it's like take a shit. Yeah, it was take a shit. Yeah, that, that, that pisses me Just take me a off. dirty Danny. That pisses me off. Drop and, it the kids and, off and at the mail pool. it to one. Yeah, mail it to one of the clients. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, okay. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Witcher. No, ding, 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 ding. The Witcher 3, was, the Wild Hunt. If it was Fallout 3 that I was thinking of, I think that one would have won, but I remember Fallout 4 coming out and like, it was good, but I don't think it was game of the year good. So Witcher, the Wild Hunt. Developed and published by CD Projekt Red when everyone still had respect for that yeah. company. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, 2016. The Witcher 3, I did play. 2016, you don't. 2016 and 2017, I already know the answers. The Witcher 3, I did play, and it was really good. Um, the only other game on this list that I've played is Metal Gear Solid 5, and I didn't finish it because it pissed me off. So, um, I played The Witcher, and it was good. I'm really bad at finishing games like that because... It's a long-ass game. Just, I played I it. I When I graduated at the beginning of COVID, I started The Witcher 3. Then I got a job. And I stopped. Finally. Finally. About time Value I got that a job. job. Um, I think his name I think it was, what was he? something with, that rhymed with like. I think it was Connor. Bradley or something like that. I think it was Connor. Oh, it was Jonathan. Yeah, it was Connor. Um, but then this past year, I like right after I watched the show, like season two got me wanting to play Boring. it again. So was season two good? What or was mean? it more politics? Well, just because I remember from season one. It's just the same as season one. Okay, yeah. I Just because I know from season one, a lot of people were a bit disappointed because they, like, from the game, less it wasn't... Bo- less boobies, It wasn't as action-packed as I think it could have been. It was a lot of talking and politics. Yeah, there was a lot of talking. They killed a baby. Hmm. Yeah, a blubberkin. Blub- no. What was it? Blumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> no, they killed, like, a baby. Blubberkin. What is it? But what am I thinking I, of? I know what you're thinking of. It wasn't Lubberkin, that. Lubberkin. That's oh, was. lubricant. Oh, lubricant. It wasn't that. Yeah, no, I know. But I was just thinking about what I was Jackass. thinking about. All right, 2016. I know what 2016 is. Overwatch. <laughs> okay, well, I'm still going to go through the list them. because this was also a pretty big year. That one, I think there's a game in there. Read them out. because this, this one I don't agree with. There was there was one in there that I was like, that should have won. It doesn't make any sense. It was like Uncharted 4. Yeah. So Overwatch one yeah. by Blizzard Entertainment. Fuck you. Oh no. Doom, the remake. All right. 
nominee. Which was good. nominee. Nominee. Inside, which was like Inside Out the movie. Game Inside the Out, year. one game of the year. Inside, which is I think the two D game that's by the same developers yeah. as whatever that other one's called. It's like the side screen. It's really dark. Yeah. Yeah. What's that other game called? Alone. By them. Alone or something like that. No. I don't know. I think it's Buck You. Oh yeah. I think that's uh, what it is. <laughs> Titanfall two. Thank God that didn't win because Electronic Farts published that game. Um, and Uncharted four, which in my opinion should. Yeah, I think Uncharted four should have won that. Of course, you're gonna agree. With in me. terms of like. But Overwatch was so popular when it came out. Yeah, it was. Like, that's... I'm not surprised that... But in hindsight... I think, in my opinion, Overwatch was second. Like, it deserved to win over all the other ones, but in my opinion, Uncharted 4 was just, you know, its own beast. And I know 2017... So who won 2017? Breath of the Wild. Yes. And you also will know who won 2018 once I read off the (laughs) the list. Yeah. Arkham Knight. No. Okay. Arkham Knight wasn't even nominated, you dumbass. I don't even know if it was 2018. So 2017, Breath of the Wild did win, published deserved. and developed by Nintendo. 100% deserved. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Good game, but... Was nominated. I thought that it won Game of the Year. I guess I was wrong. Dumbass. Dumbass. Persona 5. That was in another Nintendo game, right? Nope. That's a... Is it not? Developed by P Studio. Published by Atlas. All right. Sure. Just Super Mario there's... Odyssey. Was nominated. Big big year for Nintendo. That was I guess big that was when the Switch Nintendo. came out. So like all those games came out. And Odyssey was good. PUBG. Hmm. All right. You know what's really interesting? Oh, I know. I know one game of the year 2018. Fortnite. No, nope. I was oh, just okay. about to say. You know what's really interesting? Fortnite has never been nominated for game of the year. I don't. I wonder if it's because it's still in beta. <laughs> it, it. I think it still technically is in beta. Maybe they don't have that beta thing on it anymore. So I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. I just know that I, I, I heard somewhere that they were keeping it in beta for so long because it's easier to roll out updates when a game is in beta than mm-hmm. it is when it's like a final published game. You got to go th- jump through a lot more hoops when it's a final gold game is what it's called. Like when a game like goes gold or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's was the thing that I heard in one review, but yeah, that's what I heard. It makes sense, I guess. Anyways, 2018. 2018. On. You got God of War. Oh, God of War. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Interesting okay. that that was nominated. Interesting. Celeste. Sure. Never heard of it. It's like an indie game. Marvel's Spider-Man. Ooh. Monster Hunter World. Wow. And Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, Juicy okay. ass right. year, bro. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, God of War. Oh, yeah, you knew I knew because of the TikTok. Because right. of the TikTok. Okay, I, that's not even why I knew. I forgot that I watched that. God of War um, rightfully won that year. God of War, but those are you could some make a debate time. for Spider Man, but yeah. I think yeah, I think God of War just barely squeaks by. Yeah, because Spider Man was really good. You but God of could War make an so argument good. for Red Dead, but it, Red Dead Redemption. But it's like it's like GTA not, winning. It's like yeah, it's not. Better there's than, not like like it's a fun game, but Although it's I not like GTA a crazy 5, game. GTA Five came out in 2013, so I wonder if yeah. I wonder if GTA Six in 2035 will win. I wonder if um, mm-hmm. I wonder if uh, maybe it's just because this is the VGAs. I think GTA Five would have won Game of the Year if in 2013. If there were, it's Likely. that's that's a massive game. It has the biggest budget in any video game ever. Yeah. So then 2019 f- still had some big games, but in my opinion, fell off a little bit compared to 2018. Mm-hmm. Uh, Control. Okay. Ever heard of it? Never ever heard of it. Death Stranding. Okay. Which I just played. I can, I feel like I could see that winning game of the year out of like an artsy thing, but keep listing them. Resident Evil Two remake. Okay, interesting that the remake won game of the or was nominated, but all right. Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Well, I doubt they did two Nintendos in a, in a row. Sekiro, Shadows oh. Die Twice, and The Outer Worlds. Um, my guess is Sekiro. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense. I, I knew they I knew Smash Bros was a really, really good game, but there's no way they give it to Nintendo twice in like twice in a row. Or wait, I guess no, that was twenty nineteen, sorry. Um yeah, still. There's no way they gave it to that. Death Stranding I could have seen one because it's like an artsy thing. Yeah. Death Stranding but rightfully did didn't not win. win. Like the fact that it was even nominated, you know it was because it was like artsy and shit. But yeah, because it was Sekiro Kojima. I heard was like really, really good. Like incredibly good. Yeah. 
but it's from software, so never gonna play it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a Dark Souls, but yeah, but never, uh, never Samurai. Gonna, so never gonna no, play thank that. you. Never gonna have to play that. I'm shit. just gonna be pissed. This was a juicy year, 2020. Really? Yeah. All right, read them. Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Oh no, juicy. Doom Eternal. Juicy. Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is the first Again, hour, which is the first hour of Final Se- Fantasy VII, but stretching to thirty hours. The Last of Us Part Two, Ooh. Ghosts of Tsushima, Ooh. and Hades. All right, so right now it's either Last of Us Part Two or Ghosts of Tsushima. Now, one trend that you might be knowing is that a lot of PlayStation exclusives get nominated for Game of the Year. Not a lot of Xbox exclusives do. Well, what are they going to nominate? Halo? The reason for that is because Xbox has fucking dog shit exclusives. What are they going to do? Name Halo? They're just going to nominate Gears of War every single year. Yeah, Gears of War and Halo. What are they going to do? Nominate Gears of War and Halo? Yes. Okay. Um, Okay, so what was the second one you said? Doom Eternal. Mm, Third one? Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mm-hmm. Another remake. Interesting. Yeah, but I don't have... It's not a remaster. It's a remake. So it's not... They, they built it. They built oh, those shits oh, from the ground oh, up. Oh, oh, um, I still think it's between... Which two? I think you said Last of Us Part Two and Ghosts of Sushi. Yeah, yeah. I think... Uh, I'm going to say Last of Us Part Two though. <laughs> Let's go! I'm too nasty at this, man. Now, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I haven't played any of those games. But I heard Last of Us Part Two was good. I heard you said Ghost of Tsushima was pretty I'm good. I'm replaying too. it right now. I'm going to play it, but I just haven't got around to playing it yet. I'm redownloaded Valhalla, Re- redownloaded Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I want to just beat it, and I also just kind of want to play it again. Fair because I like Vikings. It's a cool. It's a cool. Uh, it's like, not the worst game in the world. No, it's actually not. It's uh, it's probably one of the worst. It's not the worst, but it's one of the worst. Finally, last year's. 2021's winners. Wow, this went by quick. Yeah, so we're going to have to think of something to do in the second half. All right. (laughs) (laughs) So what are we going to talk about, guys? Please leave a comment below. Um, Death Loop, or as I like to say, Death Poop. Did any games even come out in 2021? I don't think so. Death Loop. Did any games come out this year? Like, what's going to win this year? Uh... Stray. We can talk. We can talk All about. Right. Yeah, we, maybe yeah. that's what we'll talk about in the second half of what's come out so far. But there's still a lot of games to come out. I Death guess Loop. That's true. Yeah. Okay. It takes two. Okay. Metroid Dread. Okay. Psychonauts like Samus? two. Samus. Okay. Yeah. Psychonauts two. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Be a good one. And Resident one. Evil Village. Ooh, Resident Evil Village. <clears throat> okay. Wait. What was the one you said before that? Ratchet and Clank? Mm. No, it wasn't that one. Or was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, man, what the hell? <laughs> this game, in my opinion, rightfully won. I have not played it, but it rightfully won. And it wasn't Village, really. And you played Village. Village. And I've played Village. Really? I really like Village. Was it good? <laughs> <laughs> um, That's all right. Okay, wait. Read them off again, then. Death Loop. Okay. It takes two. Metroid Dread. It takes two is the one where it's like the two player game. The same developers as a way out. But it's the two player game where they become like the small yeah. people. Okay. Metroid Dread. Psychonauts two. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Oh, I'll say it takes two then. Yeah. Okay. Ding, 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 yeah, ding, ding, ding. That makes sense. I I could see that happening. What's now, <clears throat> what we got. All right. Let's uh, let's actually just cut right there before we jump into anything else. Because before jumping into anything else, I was going to say, who do you think has which which publisher developer do you think has had the most nominations ever for Game of the Year? Blizzard, Sony what? Interactive Entertainment. Oh, give me that! And guess how many Microsoft has? Zero. Correct. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> All right, welcome back everybody to part number two. Um, so I think what we're going to do for this is we're going to pull up um, a list of the games that have come out in 2022 guys and are coming out in 2022 because there's some big names dropping in 2022 wait 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 wait. i what? found more awards oh it goes back oh goes back it goes to when back. so i was looking at the vgas which is the video game awards but before they were the VGAs, oh i know what's gonna wing they were the wing sp- they were the spike video game awards okay i'm saying this right now god of, i mean if god of war come 
Oh yeah, Elden Ring. Elden gonna Ring is going to win 2022. Well, well, Elden Ring is definitely going to be nominated, but if God of War does come out this year, God of War if it's as good as the first one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They've got some they've got some stiff competition. I think maybe Destiny 2 the Witch Queen. Expansion. I think Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I think Destiny 2 the Witch Queen expansion is F1 gonna, 22 or, or Ghostwire Tokyo. Actually that game does look kind of nasty. I ain't playing. Or Mario Rabbids. Played. Stray? Um Stray or, might win for uh, best indie game. I think um no. Oh yeah, Stray could win a or lot it, because it, I know that they're doing a lot for like charity too. I know there were a lot of Stray is just like weirdly popular for like it's getting it's not getting Hades level treatment, but Hades Did was Hades, was Hades big? Oh yeah. Really? Hades was super popular when it came out. Really? Yeah. I was Which, thinking about it was downloading like, it. It was like totally out of nowhere. Oh, well, Hogwarts it's a rogue Legacy like. is coming out, bro. If all these yeah. games come out, it's gonna be a tough It's gonna be it's gonna be a stacked year. I would not want to be like I, I would guess that the nominees would be Elden Ring. Was Horizon Forbidden West good? It was it was, it was better good. than the first one. It was on par with the first one. Okay, so I'm um, my guess if there's five, I would say Elden Ring, Stray. I don't um, think Stray will be nominated for God Game of, of the War. Year. Oh my god. I don't think Stray will be nominated for God Hogwarts for Game of the Legacy, year. Destiny 2, The Witch Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Actually No, I think it would be Elden Ring, Horizon, God of War, Hogwarts, and, and Stray. What else? What, do you, what What? Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga? No, Gotham Knights? It's going to be shit, bro. Uh, no, it's going to be... Uh, um, what? My Name is Mayo 3. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. So, the so VGX. Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, wait. I'm thinking of White Knight Chronicles. <laughs> All right, which you can play on PlayStation Plus Prime for the low price of $3,000 a month. $3,000 a game. That's my impression of you doing an impression of the guy doing a Christopher Walken. Oh my god! <laughs> so it was. The, so I guess the VGAs are when was what it was started to call in 2014. In 2013, it was called VGX, and 2012 back, it was back called Spike when? Game Awards. I don't know. Let's find out together. Well, 1994, starting, I think. Are you starting at the top of the list or the bottom? Well, the top of the list is 2013, so I'm going to go oh, 2013. Okay. All right, all right, and down. <clears throat> all right, whenever it's Arkham Asylum, I know, I know it's that game. So 2013 right. awards, the final do award show do this? was rebranded as VGX okay. and held on December 7th, 2013 and was hosted by Spike Lee, Joel McHale, Gosh. A f- that guy's in from Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, that guy's in Fortnite. Sorry, did you say, do we have to do this? Could, no, I would never I say that. I think it was maybe someone outside. I think somebody, oh, we never closed the windows. Oh, why so, did I say that? Now someone's going to go fucking yelling at us. So I got... The uh, we're just gonna do game of the year. This this list has all of the awards. Just do game of the year. year just do game of the year. No, we're gonna do shit. every single award. Well, no Studio of the year, think, character of the year. Oh, best shooter. No best man. Check and boo. Best shooter would be caught every year that right. it came out. <laughs> well, it came so out every, every year. year. Okay, Jinx, um, but it dollars. didn't. So best shooter this year was Bioshock Infinite. But anyways, um, game of the year. Your Bioshock nominees are Bioshock, Bioshock Infinite. Infinite. Okay. Was good. It was alright. Super Mario 3D World. The Last of Us. 3D World. What? The okay. Last of Us. I know that one. Tomb Raider. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5. Name the winner. Oh shit! It's between Last of Us and Grand Theft Auto 5. But who won? I'm gonna say Last of Us. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5. Fuck, I knew it too. Why You said it earlier. I know, I literally said it earlier, but then I didn't realize it was in the same year as Last of Us, and I could have sworn that Last of Us won. But yeah, it makes sense. I mean, GTA Five, holy, makes sense. 2012. Can't, can't that. The Spike Lee Awards. GTA Five is still <clears throat> going so strong. Just frig off with GTA Five and give me GTA Six, right, bro? Yeah. They're, they're speculating it might come out in 2025. Bye. I'm surprised it's coming out at all. I'm surprised they have a release <laughs> date. They don't have a release date. That's just what but an a industry insider year. is predicting. Oh, oh. That's not what Rockstar said. Oh, so <laughs> could be That's forever. just someone guessing. Anyways, the nominees for Game of the Year in 2012. The year okay. that Barack Obama was re-elected. Ass- Assassin's right. Creed 3. Okay. Dishonored. Okay. Telltale's The Walking Dead. Interesting nomination. What? Journey. To the center of the earth? 
Yep. Okay. And Mass Effect 3. Which one was Journey? Journey was that oh, indie I know, game. I know what it is. I know what it is. Yeah. It's just like a walking sim, basically. Yeah, okay. Floating sim. Oh, my God. This is a hard year. What the hell? Um. Oh, but by the way, are you aligned with GTA 5 winning 2013? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. makes sense. It makes sense. I'm not surprised at all. But... It Last of Us, Last of Us also game. could have won. But GTA it's, 5 it's like really transcended good. gaming. So it deserved, the fact that that game is still it. relevant is kind of... GTA 5 deserved it. it. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so name it again. This might be the weakest one that we've had so far. Assassin's Creed 3. It's not that. Dishonored. I think it's that. Telltale's The Walking Dead. Yeah. Journey. Yeah. And Mass Effect 3. I think it's... I, th- I think... I want to say Dishonored. What? Mass Effect? <laughs> Journey. <laughs> There's no sh- wait. What was the what so it's Assassin's Creed 3 and what was the other one? Telltale's The Walking Dead. I don't agree with either of those. Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> then I definitely don't agree with it. How is a Telltale game going to win game of the fucking year? I agree with this one. No, you, you haven't don't. played The Walking no, Dead. No, you don't. It's a Telltale game. This is Telltale's one of I, I would say Dude, probably tell us a, it's tell just best a, game. It's it, there's nothing but, to but, the game. It's just a it's just a dialogue thing. But it's Assassin's Creed Three was a sure, great game. Sure, but it's it got it's, hate it's because not, I don't even know why. The, it's like the game of the year is not hate. just like this has fun gameplay. It there's a lot of things that are encompassing and name them. That in my opinion, none statement. of these games are compelling enough to win game of the year aside from The Walking Dead. What was uh, Dishonored? No, Dishonored was good. Like, The Walking Dead was TV show level good storytelling. Really? Yes. Unless you played like a jackass and got everyone killed in three seconds. Interesting. Okay. All right. I'll take your word for it. I don't agree with that. I think uh, in that list, it should have been uh, uh, Dishonored. If not Dishonored, then Assassin's Creed 3. I think those games were a bit more fun. But, you know, I'll take your word for that. The story was TV level. Good, but yeah. TV, are we talking TV level like She Hulk TV? Or are we talking like Prime Walking Dead? No, we're Dead talking TV? like we're talking like Walking Dead. Prime. All right, all right, all right, all right. Like like the Walking. Oh, wait, Dead. Are we talking She Hulk? Are we talking Suits? We're talking Suits. Oh, okay, then it wins. Now you wins now you get it. Year. Now you wins get game it. of the year. Now you get it. You know it. what I mean? It did win game of the year. All right. <laughs> I actually think it should now. All right, eleven. All right, read them. Arkham Knight wasn't on this list ever. Uh, Arkham Knight was never nominated. Man, it should have been. Gank game sucked dick. I'm just kidding. It was the best one of the Arkham series, in my opinion. I like Arkham City more than Arkham Knight, but definitely more you than would say that. more than Arkham Asylum. I guarantee you, if both those games came out in the same year, it's just the nostalgia of Arkham City. But if I played, played those both, games. I played them back to back to back recently. Mm. All right, you like your opinion. Arkham Arkham Knight, Knight looks better. Arkham Knight, I felt like Batman, like with the so stealth did I, stuff so did that you IGN. could do. It didn't say that. Do they say that every for no. every makes you feel like the, Spider-Man? But the stealth in Batman in Arkham Knight was so cool. The graphics were really good. I don't know if they said the it golf, about <laughs> the map was really good. I don't know if they said it about Arkham Knight. I'm not saying Arkham Knight's a bad game. Yeah, no, I'm just explaining my reasoning why I really liked it. Um but in the Arkham Asylum video review from IGN, Mandem said the game makes you feel like Batman. It does. I will admit it does. Like Rocksteady did, a but it's just the joke. It's job. just the joke of like, I know. Fuck off, IGN. I know. They said the same thing for Spider Man. They say the I same know. thing. I, just, I, I, I never. I, just, I never. I didn't like feel like I was Spider Man. It was an amazing game, but when I played Arkham Knight, I literally felt like I was Batman. But, anyways, I know that's cringy to say, but, I mean, Rocksteady did it. Literally ten out of ten on those games. Mm-hmm. I have zero complaints with any of them. No, including I, Origins. Great. Including yeah, Origins, sure. I think they're all tens. Sure. Yeah, okay. I just wanted Screw that you, opinion out there. But sure. Okay. Keep talking to the side of my mic. It's pissing me off. Okay, it's pissing you off. Now, this year's nominees, 2011, had mm-hmm. one of the most realistic games ever. Did it win? Well, you can't tell me that. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. That game is really good. I never played it until I replayed it on stream, by the way, twitch.tv slash whiplash eg. And wow. But 2011's a really big good. one. 2011's a big one. So Skyward Sword. If you're a Zelda fan, play Skyward Sword. If you haven't, they re-released it on Switch. And it's not dumb motion controls. That's why I think that's why I didn't really get into it. I think that's why I kind of fell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I kind of like was swept under the rug was because it was the dumb motion controls. But it was very realistic. But it was very realistic. 
Portal Two. One of my mm, one of my early platinums. Okay. That's on the that's uh, that's what I think it is so far. Uncharted Three: Drake's Deception. It was a good game, but I don't know. Batman: Arkham City. Ooh! Wow! And, what the hell? Twenty eleven was a great year for video games. And Skyrim. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> this is an impossible decision this to make. Juicy Literally, year. any of these games could have won. Mm-hmm. Any of them. Any of them. But one of them did. Oh my god! Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. There's no question. It was Skyrim. Skyrim had to win. Yeah, that that. I mean, all of those games deserve to win. Man, um, going back and looking at these like, lists, oh like, oh my god, video games came out na- in nasty bunches. Yeah. man. Oh, 2011 was an amazing and year. And then you look at 2021, games. Oh you're my like, god. Death Loop. No. De- de- death. Death Loop. Oh no. no way. Oh my uh, god. Wait, who won in 2022? No one has yet. Or sorry, 2021? It takes two. Yeah, yeah. I, but that game looks really good. It's not on the same but caliber like, as had these the, other yeah, game of the yeah, years. Skyrim. So like, bro, it literally, um, I would hate to be on that panel. What was it? What was 2012? GTA 5 was 2013. Yeah. What was 2012? Oh, yeah, Telltale. Which yeah. Which was, that list was weak. That list was and then 2011. better than 2021. Yeah. Uh yeah, 2011 was. Cord wow. keeps getting stuck in the. 2011 Ouch. was a was a was a. Shout out 2011 hell of a year for video games. Wow, 2010. It's kind of crazy looking back and going through all these lists. Like, obviously we played a lot of video games, but to look back at all these video games and be like, we've played so many different, like not even so many like hours of games, but so many different games. I know. It's crazy. I know. Wow. <laughs> Oh I mean, God. all I do is like look at my trophy list, and it's just yeah. endless. But even before oh PS3 and trophies, like PS2, yeah, N64. Like PS2, we were grinding during PS2. Yeah, N64. Wow. Oh my God, we were grinding, dude. Donkey Kong 64. We've played a lot of video games. Wow. It's crazy to look back and think about how many video games. If we've I played. die, whatever happens, the first question I will ask is how many hours did I spend yeah, playing wow. video games? Oh my God. It seems so like minute now because video games are really nothing nowadays. Like I pop on Fall Guys and Fortnite yeah. every once in a while and like COD, but like bruh, grinding back, back the then. Big time grind. Big day, de- big, big, big decade for, uh, for uh, single player games. Yeah. Holy. 2010. Call of Duty Black Ops. This is the only Call of Duty that's been nominated so far that we've right. looked at. I don't think it won though. Definitely did. Black Ops. God of War 3. Mm. Okay. Halo Reach. Ooh. Okay. That's what I think it is, but keep going. Red Dead Redemption. Okay. The first one. And Mass Effect 2. Okay. Holy. Not a great list. Not an obvious one, but I could really see any of these except Black Ops. Definitely didn't win. There's it's no kind of hard to like have Call of Duty be a game of the year. Well, you, I could see, I could see Black Ops. Well, no, Black Ops Two would have been even nominated. Black Ops Two would have been 2012, and it wasn't nominated. I know it wasn't. Over Telltale's saying, The Walking Dead. Oh, that was that year. Oh, Black Ops Two should have won. Okay, anyways, um, Black Ops Three, book that game. Black Ops Two should have uh, won 2012, in my opinion. From those lists. I think Black Ops 2 is a better game, but that's obviously... I, in my opinion, Call of Duty should never be game of the year. But nowadays, yeah, no. Well, with looking at the list of 2021, I don't know. You're telling me Call of Duty Vanguard? Cold War came out in 2021. But Vanguard would have been on... Oh, wait. Vanguard came out in 2021. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, not Vanguard. Gosh. No. Yeah, no. Cold War, <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'd rather it takes two... Definitely deserves yeah. it over Vanguard, bro. Bro, anything deserves it over Vanguard. Fucking <clears throat> fruit snacks. Bug snacks? Bug sna- Buck snacks. I'm surprised Buck snacks wasn't uh, Bug snacks is a better nominated. game than fucking Vanguard, bro. Okay. Also, okay, wait. I wanted to say this now because we were talking about this earlier. Is like you say, I always say that Call of Duty is the best franchise. Which, okay, first off, Legend of Zelda is. But after that, it's Call of Duty. And you're like, but all you ever do is shit on it. <laughs> Only the last three years. Before mm. Modern Warfare... 2019, every single Call of Duty, in my opinion, was a great game. You're saying Call of Duty is a better franchise than Uncharted? Uh, uh, I guess. it's. I don't know. There's so many good ones. It's hard. It's hard to perfectly rank them. Fuck you, Call of Duty. In my opinion, I've had more... We have sponsorship? Can we get it? 
Yo, not sponsored. Not sponsored. I'll play MW2. Yeah, I'll play it. For free. Was it good? How is it? Is it out yet? Um, okay. Uh, okay, back to the list. I think it was... I think it was Halo Reach. No. No. What By the I- way, this is the first Halo that we've looked at that was nominated. The first Xbox exclusive. We can broaden that. I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, I think so. What... What, uh, <clears throat> what were the so other ones? It was Black Ops... Okay. God of War 3, Halo Reach, Red Dead Redemption, and Mass Effect 2. Okay, so this could go either way. I think it's either God of War 3 or Red Dead Redemption. I'm going to go Red Dead Redemption. No. Oh, okay. Whew. Yes. Yeah. All right. For the audio yeah. listeners, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. It makes sense. Those games were all, I'd say, on the same level. Any of those, except Black Ops. You just spat and you got some nasty shit on your lip. You got it. You got it. You sucked it back in. All right. Uh, yeah, I can see any of those except for Mass Effect and Black Ops winning. I didn't like Black Ops. 2009. Another chunky year. Okay. This one's going to be oh, hard. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, maybe it won't be hard. Um, Is it Arkham Asylum on the list? Because it won. Batman Arkham Asylum. So it won. Assassin's Creed 2. Uncharted 2. Oh my god, what Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. My god. And Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> my god. So some so of the best video games th- to ever come out ever. So a big sequels year. Big video games so year, who won? bro. Uh Arkham Asylum. Really? It had a my So it trolled us. No, but Game of the Year edition might mean in that case that it was nominated. That's definitely what it means then. Um okay, read them again. Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Assassin's Creed 2, Uncharted okay. 2, Modern Warfare okay. 2, and Left 4 Dead 2. Big sequel year. Okay. Dude, this is hard one. I don't think it's a Call of Duty, but it was Modern Warfare 2. Hmm. So maybe. But I could, I'm could. i more torn between Assassin's Creed 2 and Uncharted 2. I don't think it was Assassin's Creed 2. So I'm going to go Uncharted 2. Bing, 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 bing. And rightfully so, one of the greatest video games of all time. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, yeah. It was it was crazy. That, that Wow, what another great <clears throat> year for video games. I know. Just unfair. Holy shit. Oh, my God. We've got another Microsoft exclusive sighting on the, 2000, on the 2008 list. But yet to win. Yet to win. Although this could be the year. This could be their this year. This could be their year. This could be Microsoft's year. This could be their year. The nominees could be their year. The nominees yeah. are Fallout Three. Okay, so, so Gears far, of that's the top of my list. Gears of War Two. Great. Video Whoa. Game. Okay, that's also up. There. Little Big Planet. Not mm. up there. Well, I feel like I remember seeing that one that win. But let's move on to the list. Metal Gear Solid Four: Guns of the Patriots. No, that one was really good. There's no way it won though. Grand Theft Auto Four. come on what are you doing to me man oh my god okay holy shit this is getting harder and harder games were good back then i was getting every single one right and then we got into like good games and now it's like yeesh um okay wow games weren't so focused on microtransactions it's almost like when developers spend more time putting effort into making their video game good instead of how to monetize their fan base it's like the games are good. Like yeah, but it's all about the money, though. Suck, dick. Yeah, but it's money now. I know. So what was the first one? <clears throat> Fallout 3, mm. Gears of War 2, Little Big Planet, Metal Gear Solid 4, Grand Theft Auto 4. You know, you think the obvious answer is Grand Theft Auto 4, but I'm going to go with Fallout 3. No. Whoa. Little Big Planet? Wrong. Wrong again. Okay, GTA 4. Ding, 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 ding. Wow. Okay. Wow. Should have gone with the obvious answer. I, I, knew, I know that Fallout 3 was a phenomenal game, but I guess GTA 4 was... No, I guess all the other ones were like the same kind of layout. Listen, it makes sense when a GTA game comes out to win because yeah, those games sense. are just like... They're crazy. Nuts. They, got, they, they know where it's at. So this year only had four nominees. I wonder if moving forward we'll see four nominees. All right. So tw- 2007... Another Xbox exclusive, wow. Halo 3. Yet to win, though. Ooh. 
All right. We got a big hitter here. Bioshock. In first one. Okay. Infinite again. Infinite. <laughs> Mass Effect and the Orange Box. Mm, I'm going to go Halo 3. No. Whoa. Wrong. Whoa. Get, Don't say it. Get effed, Microsoft. Wow. Halo 3 didn't win of those. Couldn't even. Wow. Okay. What was the second one? Bioshock. Bioshock then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Wow. I mean, Bioshock makes sense, but holy. Halo 3 Coming was. through this list. Halo 3, Halo 3, really 3 won best multiplayer game. Okay. The nominees makes for sense. that was Halo 3, Modern Warfare, Rock yeah. Band, and the Orange Box. Okay. And yeah. it also won most addictive video game. The nominees for that were Halo 3. And it won. Guitar Hero 3. Wow. Team, Team Fortress 2. And Wii Sports. Hell of a year for gaming again. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, wow. Okay. The All 2006 right. Awards. Yeah, we'll, this, we'll keep this going award until, show it's hosted by... until we get to the year where it's like, we never played those awards. Hosted by Samuel L. Jackson hosted this award show. Has it been saying the host every year? Yep. Oh, right. is it just the one year that Samuel Jackson. I just hosts haven't really. I just haven't really been paying attention except for this one, and I happen yeah. to look at it. All right. It had an appearance. Uh, from All right. Tell us Kurt what's up. Angle. Tell us what's up. Game of the year. Well, don't tell Nominees. me the answer. <laughs> Okami. Never heard of it. I never heard of it. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Oblivion. Jinx, you owe me fifty dollars. Guitar Hero 2 and Gears of War. Another Microsoft exclusive. Uh, that's a You'll tough one. You'll notice that Microsoft exclusives were good back in the day. Now that's a tough one because none of them are none of them stand out as like amazing. Xbox games. fell off when the uh, one came out. Yeah. That um, was one of the worst consoles. So I can see time. it being Gears of War. I could see it being Guitar Hero 2. What was the one right before that? Uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. I War also said, I also said warfare earlier. That's my mistake. Oh, you did. Um, Oblivion. And Ooh, okay. I can see it being Oka Oblivion. Okami. Uh, I can see it being Oblivion or um, Guitar Hero Two or Gears of War. I can one. see it being any of the nominees. Yeah. Gears of War One. Okay. Um, you said there were also only four nominees. Yeah. There. So right, I guess stupid. so. This one has five. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with what I feel like is the obvious answer: Oblivion. Correct. Uh, you nailed it. Yeah. All right. I could see. I don't think I played Gears of War one. I don't. I think I only played the second one. I and loved all of the Gears of War games except for Judgment. That game was kind of weird. I know it was really good. The first one, and oh, Guitar Hero like two was one. great. But I'm gonna love the next one. All 2005 right. awards, also hosted by Sam Jack. Interesting. Also, wait, wait a sec. We played Gears of War. That was a relevant game. I would have been six, seven. Yeah. What the hell? Was our parents first letting at, us do, bro? Well, I played it first at Why were Jason's. we grinding Gears? Why were we grinding Guitar Hero 2 nasty at it and being seven years old? You weren't, but I was. Yeah. What? Who knows? The hell? I mean, we also might have gotten it after the fact. Maybe. 2005. I was six years old. And yet I know all these games. The nominees. World of Warcraft. At one. Resident Evil 4. There's zero doubt in my mind. That God one. of War. Fear. Who fucking cares? And Call of Duty 2. Okay, it's World which of Warcraft. Which is crazy to think bro. that World of Warcraft came out <laughs> the same year as Call of Duty 2. World of Warcraft. <clears throat> Call of Duty 2. <laughs> no. no. No, it's not Call of Duty 2. Wow. Wow. Okay. Holy shit. Dude. Not, not Wow. Action um, game of the year. One of the nominees was Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Loved that game for the GameCube. Never beat it. For the game too Cube. hard. It was too hard. Probably a probably a fucking easy now. Yeah. But okay. How long have we been going on the camera? By the way, the second go around. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Uh, twenty five minutes. Okay. Okay. Um. So not wow. Holy shit. Wow. Oh God. Um. What were the other ones then? World of Warcraft, Resident Evil 4, yeah. God of War, Fear, and Call of Duty 2. Was it God of War? No. What was the one before that? Resident Evil 4? Mm-hmm. Was that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. It was between, right there, was between 
Resident Evil 4 and God of War, but I just went for God of War because I wanted to. No, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't playing video games. But actually, that's We're getting into the territory true. where we don't, but this one has a funny nominee. All right. Let's hear it. 2004. Halo 2. Oh, Halo 2 won easily, but keep going. Half-Life 2. Okay. Metal Gear Solid 3. I think Half-Life 3. 3 is also coming out in 2022. Metal Gear Solid 3. Yeah. Half-Life 3 already came out. Sorry, Half-Life 8. Oh my god. <laughs> this could Metal Gear Solid 3, <laughs> Snake Eater. Burnout 3, Takedown. No. <laughs> and Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Oh, why you gotta do that, bro? I thought it was Halo 2 until you dropped that, but... I mean... Dude, there's an award for best game based on a movie. And GTA? The, winner, the winner was The Chronicles of Riddick. Escape from Butcher Bay. That was a great movie. Star Wars Battlefront was nominated. Um, Didn't win. But was Battlefront 2 ever nominated? I didn't look. Um, probably. I, I didn't look at the lists big, like long enough. We've to. been naming the lists. But it was never nominated for Game of the Year. Oh. Okay. I was looking at best game based on a movie. Should have been. Um, I agree. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. My my gut tells me Halo 2, mm. but my, my my brain tells me GTA because... Because they've won every single year yeah. that they've been nominated. Yeah. But GTA San Andreas, was that like a big one? I never, Obviously, I never played it. I was four. It was big? Yeah. That's like a big time fan. All right. Me. Well, I'm going to go with the smart choice and say GTA San Andreas. Yeah. Okay. Winner. Halo 2 did deserve it, though. Do you want to reset the camera and we'll just finish up these lists and then wrap it up? Well, how much is left? There's, there's quite a few more lists. We don't have to go through all of them, but I don't know how many more we want to go through. So I'm just saying to be cautious. Well, what's the next one? The next one will be 2002. Are Three. we going to know them, though? <laughs> oh, my God. This one has so many. This one has so many. Okay. Do we know many. them? Yeah. <laughs> the winner is fucked. All right. Go quickly. <laughs> Nominees are some of these games I've never heard of, but this is a wacky ass year. I'm almost. I, I need to know. I don't like going over an hour, though. That's the thing. This event also featured a WWE tag team wrestling I'm match. I'm not trying to go over an hour, man. It had a wrestling match in the middle of it. All right, hurry. Freedom Fighters. Never heard of it. Okay, never heard of it. Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Mm. SOCOM 2 U.S. Navy Seals. Okay. That's mm. SSX3. That's, Whoa. Is that the snowboarding I think you're allowed to say SS, but... Okay. Star Wars Galaxies. What? Okay. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Okay. Tony Hawk's Underground. Okay. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Okay. And Madden 2004. I'm going to guess that it wasn't Vice City because you said it's a, it's a fucked winner. It was not Vice City. Was it Madden? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, on that note, we're going to end it right there with a, hell of, you, a EA. hell of a 2004 list. Oh, that was the last one. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck you, EA. You're telling me that the Spike Video Game Awards started with game of the year madden i'm pissed i'm pissed and we're going thank you all so much for tuning in we i this was a great podcast oh my god that was fun it was a blast um and a little we'll do trip more down segments memory like lane. that yeah exactly but uh yeah let us let us know in the comments let section us know down what, below lists, what you thought what lists you want us to run yeah. through and uh see y'all in the next one peace, peace.